Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Doing. Today I'm going to talk about some more tags in the HTML5. And now I'm opening my Notepad++. Here we have the basic tags already. And today I'm going to talk about uh, the one of the important tag which was introduced in the HTML5 that is meter tag. I mean, sorry. Uh, meter tag okay guys today we are going to talk about the meter tag and uh, uh, in this uh, meter tag what is the use of meter tag and why they define the meter tag is nothing but uh, the meter tag defines a scalar measurement within a known range actually uh, or a fractional value I mean it was just like a gauge I mean uh, it, it defines a scalar measurement if you want to display this much of um, measurement for something uh, th this is all done by using the meter tag okay guys and we are going to write the code of the meter tag here um, it can be uh, put in the paragraph itself there is no issues of that um, and I put the ending of paragraph as slash p as usual in between this I'm going to mark uh, I'm just writing as mark is I mean just to define the uh, what do you say the scalar measurement value in between this I'm writing the meter tag meter tag is just write as meter and uh, it's also going to be end with the slash meter slash meter and in between this I'm going to write uh, anything like blood pressure I don't know whatever you want to uh, measure on in meters or anything I mean just as a scalar value uh, we can write there um, I'm writing mark as that on exam or something exams how many people were passed in the exam and all this if you want to look at uh, all these measurements in uh, in the form of a meter I mean like in the form of uh, any graphical representation we can use this meter as an attribute and uh, sorry as a tag and we have many attributes in the meter tag and what are those attributes if we want to measure the meter is high it, it doesn't define anything I just define the meter starting tag and the meter ending tag so this says that it is an empty meter tag and if I want to define this is the pass per uh, percentage of my college if I want to define that then uh, we need to write as some of the attributes introduce some of the attributes to define those uh, values so I'm copying this and I'm going to paste it here and in the meter tag I'm going to write the attributes which were given by the programmers as uh, low high maximum and all these are some of the attributes which are in the meter tag. I'm going to define all those things here. Um, here I'm going to write uh, something as 69 as the low pass percentage. And the high pass percentage in my college was uh, 80%. We can write it as an 80%. And um, what is the maximum pass high, pa high pass percentage for anyone is... Uh, the hundred percent uh, and uh, what is the best uh, value for this is uh, because of uh, and on an average of all these three what the value that going to be display in your meter tag was 84 percent is an average percentage of our college then we are going to display this in our uh, in our uh, in our web page okay guys I'm going to save this and I'm going to run using the Chrome what we are going to see let's wait okay see see here in the Chrome we have uh, see guys without any measurements and all this I got the um, I'll zoom it I got the meter tag with an empty empty without any range in it without any scalar measurement in it but I have given the 84% as or total and average of my past percentage in my college like that whatever you think uh, for exams then it was shown with some of the uh, content in it that's nothing but uh, the meter tag what we are going to be displayed today uh, I mean discussed today and I'm going to teach you another type of tag today that is known as uh, um, map 
tag which was also a very new tag and map tag was introduced in the uh, html5 itself what is the main purpose of the map tag is it's gonna be give a relationship between map and the image that you are given i mean if you given an image and uh, you have you want to see uh, where it was located and all these things some of the uh, things then it will directly link up to the map uh, with uh, clickable areas in it so i'm going to show you the map tag uh, the map tag is also starts with the name of map and it's going to be end with then slash map slash map guys and in between this uh, we are having uh, some of the other tags like uh, we need to bring some i mean a image here and we need to link up with the map here and we need to get some records and all these uh, for that i'm going to show some of the things um i mean um, uh, we, we doesn't have the image tag here right uh, okay i'm going to give one image tag image um source we need to give that uh, source here and uh, in this also we have we need to mention use map use map is one of the new attribute which was introduced in the image tag navigate i mean in the history ml5 um i'm going to give uh the image tag like engine flag we have already seen right uh where is the engine flag here okay i'm going to select the root of this uh oh god oh okay i'm going to copy this um and i'm gonna paste it here oh god okay uh source that was the source right uh in between this i'm gonna paste um slash engine flag dot png i have given this and uh, use um, I, the, here we need to mention the use map this was going to be mentioned by followed by an hash symbol uh, uh, that was uh, one of the constraint here in this and in this i'm going to write as um, engine flag um engine flag dot um nothing okay i'll just give the there is no need of mentioning any uh, png and all these extensions for this uh, use map and all and in this in the uh, we are in the map tag we are going to give for the for which we are going we want the map to be represented i'm going to give it as indian flag okay for this picture i'm going to uh, i want uh, the map to be get represented uh, for this on what records you want i mean where that has to be all the i mean longitude latitude values should be there right and all this we need to mention here and um, uh, for that all this purpose we have then another tag called the area tag in this um, and in this area tag we need to get uh, we are having many more uh, uh, values that is a shape a shape has to be look as rectangle or anything we have that uh, option to be in this uh, history ml5 and the chord uh, i mean corridors i mean coordinations coordinations what what we want to be the coordinations of this and we have that too uh, and we can represent this uh, in the way as um, 0 0 x and y value um, x axis y axis z axis and all these will be having some uh, 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 some of those right we can represent whatever we want there uh, all these representations i have given only the uh, as a random some of the numbers uh, in this um, we are going to uh, we need to link up with the h reference tag as mean as an anchor tag with the hyperlink reference tag with and uh, with the another html tag then it will move to another html tag where um, it was located i mean like uh, does we have any another html tag in our uh, in our uh, in our uh, computer does we have any something means in that way we'll uh, link up our image with the another html tag where we i mean like uh, 
map tag directly but i'm giving some other html tag does we have any other html tag class one dot html right this is also going to be linked up with this oh we'll put that um, property here i mean the link of it oh i'm copying this and i'm going to paste it here okay okay uh, i'm going to paste it here and um, slash uh, class one dot html in this manner we need to uh, uh, link up our image with the another tag by using this map i mean like we have to connect with the map uh, some other maps in the google and all this but that doesn't have uh, uh, the internet connection now so i'm going to show with some of the uh, examples in my what do you say in my I mean, we need to have some map tags or map dot html something like like that. We can link up with the uh, other uh, map tags which are going to be represented. So I'm going to save this, and we'll see how it's going to look in our Google Chrome. We'll see it. And when you click on this, see it was going to the other uh, other html page in the same manner. If we click on the our uh, uh, web i mean on our image it will directly link up to the map i mean for the map also we need to create one html like map one dot html or something like that and then it will directly link up to the html um uh, what is i mean uh, the globe uh, in that manner this is one of the benefit of the map tag so thanks for watching my video if you like my video subscribe to my channel